Hello everyone, it's Anya here from New Life Design. Today I wanted to talk about perfectionism. Perfectionism can be worn as a badge of honour. I used to be a perfectionist until I realised that it can become a form of self-sabotage when we don't have clear standards for what we are trying to achieve either in our work or relationships. One might say that in order to be successful and fulfilled one needs to be a perfectionist and refer to some successful people either in sport or business. However, if you read the biographies of these people, you will see that most of them had clear standards and benchmarks for improvement. Therefore, what's necessary for fulfillment and success is improvement rather than perfection. Perfection is the road to self-doubt and procrastination and improvement is a road to mastery. When we look for improvement we tend to have standards for what's good enough to meet the objective that we are pursuing. When we look for vague perfection we end up on the wild goose chase and end up being caught in a paralysis by analysis and continuous self-doubt. It can be quite disheartening and frustrating because it can make us feel that we can never get there or we're never good enough. And we can even start doubting, making small decisions or taking little steps. Or we start investing so much time and energy in a basket that has little to no purpose and output. I often compare perfectionism to an iceberg that's hard to move. And while the tip of the iceberg looks invincible, strong and perfect, the invisible bottom part of this iceberg often harbors lack of self-trust and the fear that we're not being good enough or doing well enough. When we seek for perfection, we start melting this iceberg one block at a time. And there are three steps to overcome perfectionism and to reset yourself for improvement. Step number one, set clear, realistic must-have standards for what's good enough and what's great. Because when you have these standards, you give yourself permission to be satisfied with what you have achieved so far and appreciate the improvement you have made. So it motivates you to keep going. Step number two, leave some room for error because when we are okay with making errors we encourage ourselves to keep taking action because this is how we learn this is how we get better step number three commit to time frames for launches giving someone a chance or cutting losses because when you have clear standards leave room for errors and have time frames you make it easier for yourself to start, maintain and finish projects. You also enable yourself to cut losses or change direction when something clearly doesn't work for you for a period of time. So it can save you time and energy. And time and energy, as we know, are two priceless resources that are very difficult to recoup. Seeking improvement is about taking consistent action with what we know what we have at that point of time because we won't know better or do better until we actually do it. And it may not be perfect, but does it need to? It's about getting better and better each time. And then it leads you to the mastery of what you do. And this is how you get results. Seek improvement rather than perfection and have fun with it. 